Hi, this is Stephen Walsh. I'm here at the Civic Auditorium at the Lon Chaney Theater in Colorado Springs, and I'm he here with Pete Shurman, and we're here to talk a little bit about the Greater Colorado Short Circuit Invitational Film Series. That's right. Okay. Uh, give me a little background on it. Okay, well, um, the... Uh Everything that you just said, short series, uh, short film series, is uh, basically a block of short films from all across the world, actually. Um, they're uh, films that have been award winners on festivals um, all over the country, and uh, two films in, from right here in Colorado Springs from some student filmmakers that are incredibly talented and we're happy to have. So are you happy with what you've seen with the student filmmakers? Yeah, um, I, I think this was one of the cool things that we, one of the cool things that we're trying to do with this is, is show Coloradoans that there's a lot of good films coming right out of our backyard right here. And when they see what the students are doing, I think they'll be so impressed they'll you know, probably wonder what everybody else is doing, you know, that have graduated. But you know, actually, if you ask me, uh, I think the students are probably going to be paving the way for the rest of us and tell us what to do because they are doing an amazing job. If there were one thing you would tell a film student, what would it be? Oh, boy. Um, just keep plugging away. Don't get discouraged. Listen to uh, your inner voice. Learn what you need to learn. But um, it's story is paramount. Story is king. And that's kind of what we'll be seeing here tonight, actually. But I think uh, students need to uh, just get out there and make something. Your portfolio can, can keep it expanding. And if there's something uh, you're, you, know, you know you need to do better, you just don't have to show that one. But the more you have, the more you can pull, pull from to show. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background as a filmmaker. Well, um, for me, I've been doing films ever since I was right out of high school. Um, nothing, nothing that I'd be incredibly proud of. We did a, uh, a Star Trek parody when I was just like 19 years old. And the reason I mention that is because a lot of people mess around with their parents' cameras and whatnot and play films. But that, that one actually got some play. We, we managed to release it eventually. It went through the rounds in um, uh, Star Trek festivals and things that and the other. So it gained some notoriety. But believe it or not, it was that film that got noticed by somebody else who said, hey, you can do something else. And then it went from there to there to there. And then the short film that I had done got, uh, got the attention of some people Disney, and then I had done some work um, on uh, Disneyland's uh, 50th anniversary show. Um, but part, it, it was always that one film after another that led somebody to see uh, what I was capable of doing and gave me opportunities for other films. So um, I may, that might be a bit of a long answer to your short question, but uh, I've done various different short and longer format films. Okay. Uh, as far as film festivals go, what would you suggest someone someone do? Um, in terms of trying to get into a film festival? Yeah. Uh, well, be persistent. There's plenty of uh, film festivals out there. I would suggest they get on withoutabox.com to start with. Um, they kind of filter the process and make it easy for you. And, uh, and that's uh, the word is through the film festivals, that's how they're keeping track of which ones are successful, which ones are uh, being raised on the radar screen. So start with Without a Box. Don't get discouraged. I mean, um, if you're getting feedback that, uh, you know, your, your film didn't make their grade, and look at it objectively and maybe try again. Learn from your mistakes. But being persistent, I know some people early on uh, had some difficulty getting accepted. Uh, to certain different film festivals because you start with a top tier and then you start you work your way down but once it starts to roll then it starts rolling pretty fast because once you're in it's, it's almost a catch-22 it, it takes um, kind of an act of Congress to get into a festival but once you're there then word spreads if once you've had acceptance with one you typically start to get some with the other and make personal connections attend film festivals get to know people that's an important thing so you're saying networking is, is one of the keys to success? Absolutely. Yeah, network. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, and right. have a good evening. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Great. Now I get these missed calls. <laughs>